All right, what's going on dudes and welcome to the Crystal Tower. This is a Minecraft adventure map thing that starts us off without much information at all. So I guess we're just gonna start playing and we'll see where it leads us. All right, looks like it's already pretty amazing because I've made a rule for myself where when I encounter a maze in Minecraft, I have to use that terrible pun that's been overused every time. It's just a rule. Okay, so we got some glass things here. I'm assuming maybe if I hit the button in the corresponding colors room, it'll open the thing. Ah, some glass breaks nearby. Okay. Oh, it doesn't, it's not even that it like appears and reappears. That's good. So we just need to find all the buttons, I guess, and it'll probably let us through to the end. So that's the crystal tower. Pretty obviously, I think, but we, I guess, have to work our way through the maze in order to get there first. So. What do we have? Blue glass, orange. So what's the next block that we're trying to, to get to here? Orange, maybe orange is open over there? Let's see. All right, we've got some red. Okay, red room. And then how am I going to get over to here? I don't know if... Do the diamonds, like, do something for me? <laughs> maybe I can, like, jump off the map and then that'll be a checkpoint. Okay, here we go. Can make it in here, right? Right? No? Maybe? Parkour? No, I guess I can't parkour around there. How am I going to get... Wait a minute. Hmm. How am I going to get over... Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it, right? Yes, I got it. I have no idea what the blue diamond blocks do. But anyway, there we go. Boom. Some glass breaks nearby. Oh my goodness. It is so very dramatic. So now, where was the orange one again? Because I have a feeling that's where we need to go to next. It was back over where I came from, I think. So now we need to go through where the orange glass was formerly. Ah, okay, here we go. Now what's next? Ah, probably the uh, the red one. Cool. And the red was over by the uh, the purple room, I think. Oh, wait. Oh, there was red glass here, and there was some back there. Okay, so we can get the blue one now, I think. Unless I'm being deceived. Yeah, never mind. This doesn't actually seem to lead anywhere. Maybe this does over here. Let's see. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, I got... Nope. Needs blue. All right, well, let's go break the, uh, wait a, wait a minute. Wait just a minute. I have to break the blue to, oh, there's another entrance. All right, I was like, how, how do I get the blue button if I have to break blue glass in order to get to it? That doesn't really make sense, does it? But that's okay. So far, so good. It's pretty straightforward. Amazing puzzle. All right, there we go. Purple. Now, where was the purple? It was right over there. All right, I got, what, what help is that going to give to us, though? Because... I kind of was already, like, in this area. I don't know. I guess it just makes it a little bit easier to get back or something like that. Can I get into... Okay, so I've hit red. So the last one left is blue over here, right? Right. Okay, I already did that one. All right, let's see. Oh, there was, a, there was purple blocking that. Gotcha. Let's take a look at this thing. Holy command blocks. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay. Oh wow, it's just like solid command blocks all the way up. I'm assuming that those are not levels for our consumption, but do wait, wait a minute. Oh, around the outside. Two trailer park girls. I'm one of them. Where's the other? And boom. There we go. Did we do it? I think we beat the maze, except now how do I get across to the, the tower? I think that's where I have to go, right? Right? Back over here? Do I get like a bridge or something now? Come on. Some teleportation. Something fancy of the sorts. Give me a reward. I need to feel accomplished for defeating this maze of craziness. Maybe right over here. Did I do it? Did I do it? Uh, maybe? No? I have no idea where I'm supposed to go now. Okay, I pressed all the buttons. Cool. What do? Do I have to walk over all of the different colored blocks? Is that what you want from me? It's not even a maze, it's just to make sure you walk over every single square meter of this entire place. Is that what it is? Yeah, there are no barrier blocks. Okay, I'm thoroughly confused. We'll be right back once, uh, once I figure out exactly... Whoa, it just did something. Yeah, we'll be right back when I figure out exactly what I'm supposed to do here. Oh, hey, would you look at that? There's a thing that appeared at the center of the maze. It seems like it's kind of important. We should probably walk into it. And hey, there we go. All right, where are we at now? Worked our way up to the next level. Where are we relative to the starting area? Is it down there? 
It's one of the platforms like around the tower, I guess. And he, oh, there we go. Oh, look at that. Nice aerial view of things. That's pretty cool, actually. Sound like a, a hexagon. A nice, perfect hexagon. Okay, what am I doing here? So we've got a button of fire, a dispenser, a poppy, and a skeleton. So, all right. Ah, so I guess we're probably working our way up the tower just on these platform things. Okay, so here we go. I like flowers. They seem kind of like usually they represent good things and stuff. Oh, hi there. All right. Cool. So you, you want to help me summon Gollum. You want to help me fight the evil skeletons, right? What if I summon another one? Can I do that? One at a time. All right. Fair enough. Now, dispenser. Oh. All right, so that gets rid of the golem. So I'm assuming we can, I guess we can only do like one thing at a time. Is that how it works? Okay, that lights the whole thing on fire. And now maybe I should spawn the skeletons in the middle? Wow, they're, uh, hey, guys, uh, it's cool. Just, just shoot, can you shoot the arrow into the center? Come on, God, that guy's over there. He's like, I don't know what I'm doing at all. <laughs> okay, fire, fire at them. Put the fire into the center. There you go. All right. Straight through the fire. Beautiful. All right. And now now let's spawn the golem. The golem will be like, yo, what's up, guys? How's it going? Pretty, pretty good. Yeah. Go after him. What are you doing? Don't be silly. I just killed the golem. Whoops. So I guess the golem is kind of like, he's the, he's kind of selfish. He has to be the only one out there. If he's not getting all the attention, he's like, nope, see you later. Well, that's easy enough. At least these dudes can keep walking through the fire, and maybe we can finish them off with the golem. Come on! Yeah, take- Oh! He got a quad! Look at you standing there all proud of yourself. He just took out four of them at once. <laughs> what a beautiful shot that was. It's a shame you can't get teleported away. I kind of wanted to take you with me, but that's okay. Here we go! On to the next stage. What do we have now? What do we have in here? Glowstone? Um... So, we have some buttons. And the, ooh, I have a feeling this is, it's like a tile puzzle kind of thing. All right, so that one takes out all of, I have to figure out what each button does. Now it's gonna raise some and lower, okay, if I put you down again, and does it matter, it could, no, it's not gonna matter which button I press on that side. So we probably wanna get all of it down to surface level. And how I do that? Well, that's, I guess, what we're about to try to find out. Uh, ooh, what if I do that? That puts those two up. I have to find a pattern of some sort. So every button, if you hit it once, it does a toggle. If you hit it again, it reverts to the same thing. So I guess that makes it a little bit easier. And that will retract those two. Okay, so I guess if I'm able to get these two up, then when I put that one, push that one, it'll bring him down. So, uh, something like that, right? Maybe? I don't, <laughs> I, I, I don't even have like a sense of direction on this thing at all. So, yeah. I'll, I'll probably succeed very easily in, now you'll pull those down. Yep, okay, that's correct. Now, there's gotta be one that brings that down when I toggle it. Is this one? No, that brings them all back up. All right, congratulations to me on doing the exact opposite of what I wanted to do. Oh, you, oh, you toggled it. You had to toggle it. Why'd you do that? What about this one? Bring it down. No, no, wrong one. Mm, let's just go around. Maybe you'll do the right thing. Do the right thing. We're back at square one. Okay. <laughs> Great job. Great job, Jardon. Fantastic. How about you? You toggle that. Okay. How about you? Now you want to bring. Bring that down. No, you don't. You don't want to do. You don't want to do that. Let's just think about this for a minute. Buttons. You know what the right. You know. You know how to do the right thing. Now back down to one. Mm -mm. How do I do it? How do I do it? I don't know how to do it. Every time it just. Mm, there's always one left. There's always one left. There's always one left. What I need to do is I just need to beat this one and this one. Let me push that and then it brings it down. But it doesn't want to do that. Doesn't want to do that. Bring that one down. Oh my god, you silly friggin... Oh, okay, now I wish that you would do the thing. Do the right... Do the right thing. Do the right thing. Now you want to bring that right... Right? No, you don't. That's not... That's not the correct answer. 
Don't do, don't do, oh my God, you're so dumb. You're so dumb. You're so dumb. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't do it that way. No toggle. Okay, this one. I got it. I got it. I know this is the right answer. Boom. Woo. There we go. That was kind of just pushing buttons. You got to do what you got to do, I suppose. <laughs> All right, next level. What do we have here? So we have some sticks. Oh, I picked it up. Ten sticks. We've got uh, some, some white flowers, some ice, a book called Transmutation. We perform in some witchery magic here, and some flint. Oh, and the items keep respawning. Okay, what do we got here? Transmutation, a primer. Basic transmutations, flint plus coal, white flower plus ice, white flower plus wintry orchid, diamond plus wintry orchid, advanced transmutations, enchanted crystal plus stick, Enchanted crystal plus flint, wood enchantment plus stick, ornate limbs plus string, explosive enchant plus elegant bow equals bow of the nova. Oh boy! All right, we got a lot of steps here, apparently, that we have to... How do I tr transmute things? Probably in these fancy ta temples of fanciness or something? I don't know. Um, yeah, hello, fancy tables of fanciness. How do you do today? I wish I knew what to do with you, but... Maybe I just toss some items in and kind of hope that things happen. So, what was the first one? Flint plus coal. Flint and coal. Do you do magical things? Yes? No? No? <laughs> I don't know. All right. The fancy temple isn't so fancy after all. At least we can get more items. How about you? Fancy temple number two. No. What if I put it in the center? Maybe it does the that. That right there. No. Maybe I'm thinking about this wrong. Maybe I do it actually in my inventory. No. No, that's not how it works either. Uh, maybe fancy temple number three. I picked up another transmutation book. They're both tattered. Maybe right here. Yeah. Hey. Do the do the thing. No, 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 no. Do, do it. I don't know what to do, but you do, do the thing. Oh my goodness, do what you're supposed to do, whatever that means. I don't know what it means. Maybe if I stand in here, it'll do amazing things. Please explain. I don't, I don't know what I'm trying I feel like the. I feel like what I'm supposed to do is pretty obvious, I just have no idea though. Oh. Ah, I push the button. And then it transmutes. So, alright, put that and that in there. Now let's see if this works. Aha, it does a grand total of nothing. <laughs> Maybe I need to do it all at once. Um, white flower plus ice. Eh? How do I make a diamond? Oh, probably white flower plus wintry orchid. Okay, anyway, flint plus coal. Flint, coal. Oh, maybe we do it in the different things. Oh, we, maybe we combine it in the different, like I put it. Oh, I know what to do now. Ah, okay. We put coal in here. Then we put flint in the other one. Then we hit the button and it appears in the center one. Got it. I got it. There we do that. And then we hit the button and it goes, voila. And then a thing happens, right? Yes. All right. Whew. Got it now. I should have figured that out earlier, but that's okay. Never done transmutation before. What can I say? This is brand new. This is brand new stuff. All right. So next up, white flower plus ice. So we've got some white flower that we're going to put over here, right? White flower. And we got to put some ice down. Boom. Hit the button. Bada bing, bada boom. And voila. What do we get now? A wintry orchid. Oh, how... Fantastic. Now, wintry orchid plus white flower. So we need to make another wintry orchid then. Alrighty then, so we go a little bit of this. That go in, that went in. And then we go a little bit of this. Okay. And then a little bit of this. And bada bing bada boom. Alright, so we got two wintry orchids. Now, we're going white flower plus wintry orchid, and that's going to give us another thing that I don't know what. All right, there we go, and boom. Do what you're going to do. What do we get? Oh, string. 
All right, it's just normal string, I guess. So what's next up? Okay, so now we go diamond plus wintry orchid again. All right, diamond plus wintry orchid. Probably gonna have to do a couple more like the basic stuff. Uh, okay, diamond plus wintry orchid. You know, it would be a little easier if we put the uh, the two little transmutation chambers kind of next to each other. Maybe like one here and one there. It'd be a little bit quicker, but I don't know. Enchanted crystal. Ooh, very fancy. All right, so next page. Now we're going advanced. Enchanted crystal plus a stick. Oh, God, we need to make the... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. We need to make another enchanted... Oh, please. Oh, please. It's going to take forever. Oh, wow. All right. You know what? Yeah, we're going to go through all the steps here, and um, I'll, I'll greet you when we're finished. Okay, just a couple more steps. I have the ornate limbs, which uh, needs to go into this one, ornate limbs plus string, and I think that gives us the, the bow, and then we combine that with the thing that I just made through basically the same process, which is the explosive enchant thing. So here we go. Put the ornate limbs into there, and then grab some string, which we have in our inventory right there. All right, and this will be second to last, and button. Boom, transmutation. Do the, it reminds me of the, the whatchamacallit thing, like the fusion dance in Dragon Ball Z for some reason. I don't, I don't know why. It's kind of like hyperbolic time chamber, Kami's lookout sort of deal. That's what this whole thing reminds me of, I guess. Yeah, totally. I bet the guy watched Dragon Ball Z who made this, I don't know, I'm speculating. All right, so we have the elegant bow. And then what was the final step? I think it was the, uh, yeah, the elegant bow plus the explosive enchant. So, all right, here we go, boom. And one last final thing to do. Explosive bows, I love it. Elegant explosives. Kind of sounds oxymoronic just a tad bit, but. All right, what do we have? A bow that vibrates with, with explosive energy. Currently though, seems dormant. Why does it start off with one durability, Bislick? That's not very nice. I worked so hard, I want it brand new. I don't want to use bow. Whatever, I'm not gonna complain. Oh, okay, so we got a brand new one now. What do we have here? Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> dousing potion, a water breathing, a watery potion, large damage on Hellfiend Exploder. Whoa. Uh, what are we about to get ourselves into here? Whoa, okay. Can I just keep going around collecting more and more potions? Nope, I guess we only get one round, okay. Instant health, fire resistance, a fiery potion, large damage on an icy wraith. So, okay, we don't want to use these to give ourselves fire resistance. We want to use them in order to deal damage to, oh boy. Um, Examinate potion, small damage. Um, uh, so these are small damage. Potion of dangerous organic matter, small damage on dudes. Large damage on, okay, I'm, <laughs> we're getting into like a Pokemon battle here, and I'm totally gonna not do this properly. But anyway, so flame potions, it does big damage on watery and icy things, but it heals fiery things. And the water one does, all right, I, I think I kind of understand, then we'll switch to the ones that do small amounts of damage on things and stuff. Or, I don't know. This is more more dousing potions, I suppose. Yeah, same old, same old. And all right. So I think we're fighting something. Are we not? Uh, yes, we are. Oh, what are you? Wait, what are you guys? What are you? Guys? Oh, soulless, um, hell fiend. So let's give this a try. So we wanted to use the thing on you guys, right? Massive damage. The icy wraith was healed. That was not what I was wanting to do. Oh, it's gonna spawn more potions. Okay, that's good. What if I throw d d this on you? Does that do? Yeah! Damaged! Get wrecked! I don't have any arrows. This isn't good. Uh, okay. What good is this? I have to kill these guys using the... No, I just dropped it instead of actually throwing it. I'm a genius. I'm a, I'm a genius. So it's like a, it's a puzzle of trying to kill these things somehow. The Icy Wraith was severely damaged. Okay. Dude, the Icy Wraith was severely damaged again. That's great. I like severely damaging things. All right, please. Can I just punch you guys with with my fist? Um, the Exploder was severely damaged. That's good. What about... Yes, yes. I like it when damage happens and not 
Not healing. That's always good. Okay, Solus was damaged. Okay, so I seem to be mostly dealing damage. That's always good. Oh, I wonder if I can use the... Yes! Yes! Thank you, Exploder, for for helping out tremendously. That was really kind of you to, to do that. And that's neutral damage. Nope, G giving you... Okay. I think this heals, dude. Nope, that I healed you. Dang it! How about you? Okay, I can throw it at you and be good to go. Oh boy, I'm withered. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, let's do a heal. Heal, heal, heal. Thank you, potions of healing. Please get rid of the wither on me. I would appreciate that. All right. So, here we go. Let's get around. Brah! Yeah, get wrecked. Okay, so we don't want to do the flame potions on him. We want to do the, the ones that are not... Okay, wait, wait. Oh, my God. Oh, it's all full. My inventory is so full. And boom. Yeah! Get wrecked! Potion of force. Whoa, it separates enemies? Potion of, did I not? I must have just not picked that one up previously or something like that. Um, yeah, so I have a lot of things in my inventory. Right. Right. Welp. Sure, let's proceed with all of these potions. They'll probably be cleared out. Yep. Alright. Arrows, right? Arrows at the top of the crystal tower? Uh... No, we're just gonna do, we're gonna build cool things. Yeah. <laughs> or something. I don't know. Okay, so we've got some sort of beacon puzzle. What is it, though? Um... All right, so we've got all sorts of different types of glass. Okay. That's cool. And it respawns if I go back into the chest? No? So maybe I need to get all the beacons to be the same color? Maybe? Uh, can be placed on glass. So... So... What am I... Oh, I guess I just put it on, like, right here, maybe? Okay, and then this can break. Ah, okay, that breaks the glass. So, oh boy, this is gonna be, um, <laughs> oh boy, this is testing my knowledge of how to turn the colors into other colors, I guess. What is, I can't put, um, can be placed on, I should be able to place you down. No? No? Why can I not? I guess I can't place it down on the... Oh, there's a barrier block in the way. Okay. So maybe... Oh, are we just matching? So we just match the colors. Oh. Okay, I figured it was going to be more complex than that. Fair enough. So, okie dokie, just put that... That's incorrect. Oh, it takes a combination in order to color match. Now I gotcha. That is still not a match. All right, this is harder than I thought it was going to be. Nope. Oh, God. Uh, maybe this? A little bit. Got it. Got it. Got it. Woo! All right. So now we need to match you. I assume it's that one. That one's definitely going to be it. And then maybe we go a little bit on the pink side? No, that's not the case. Or do we start off? Okay. I also don't know if order matters. What about magenta? No? Mmm. Maybe we throw a little bit of blue in there for good measure, yeah? No, definitely not that. Um, okay. This is a tough one. No! Ugh. What about you? Maybe you are the right... No, it's too blue now. Maybe lighter blue. Like you. No, absolutely not. Maybe you... No. Oh my god, how in the world did I... Oh my god, how am I going to do this? I'm so bad with colors. I'm so bad with colors. And by sight? Oh, okay, what's the closest one? Uh, you, definitely not. I don't even... I don't know if order matters. No, it's not you. Ah! What are you? I do not get it. And then you... Definitely not that. Ay, ay, ay. Not that... Oh my gosh. It's not this. I'm sure there's someone out there watching this who has phenomenal... I'm moving on to another one. But I'm sure there's someone who, who's watching this who has just a phenomenal ability to visualize color and what, what like, break down color into its primary components or something like that. I'm sure there's someone watching this who, who's able to do that and who's just frustrated out of their minds right now. Definitely not that. Um, 
Blue. No. I should just try everything, I guess. That. No. And this. No. It's gonna be just what I least expect it to be. Red. Oh, that was close. So maybe it's orange? Got it. Woo! There we go. Alright. Are you matching? Yeah, you're matching. That's good. Now the next one is gonna be definitely some blue in there. Like that. And then no, it's too dark. No. Uh maybe it's the lighter blue. Could be three different shades of blue. So we'll start off we'll start off with those. Okay, which one makes it look the closest? That plus black maybe? Yeah, there we go. All right, so this is the final one, and maybe it's black. Ooh, that's close. Okay, so let's replace the bottom one with a different, because it's obviously one of, it's either the purple, the magenta, or the pink. Not that one. It's you, no. Maybe it's you, definitely not. Which is the close? I think the, the magenta is the closest, but then we gotta darken it by something not quite as substantially dark. Maybe the gray. No! Ugh! It's not the gray. Okay. <laughs> Dang it. <sighs> Orange. No. Blue. No. Um. Brown. Oh, that's close. It's so close, but no dice. Uh, that's definitely not it. Oh my god, dude, this is so tough. Green. No. Mm! I don't even know if it's right to start off with. Why is this so hard? Why is this so hard? I don't know how to do it. Ah. Okay, okay. Maybe our approach is wrong. Maybe our approach is wrong from the beginning, and it's you and not you. And it's you and what? What could you possibly be combined with? Oh, that's it! I got it! Woo! What's missing? What's missing? Is that one not it? I didn't... I just realized I don't think I heard the ding when... You gotta be kidding me. Those are a perfect match. Give me a break. That was a... That was an absolutely perfect match right there. You can't tell me that is not a perfect match. You cannot... Oh my god. Okay, maybe uh, it is this one, because I don't think I heard the ding on this one. Maybe it's you. Definitely not that one. All right, what did I start? I started with a light gray. Maybe it has to be like medium gray. Definitely not. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe we're taking the wrong approach on this one. Maybe rather than starting off with green and tweaking it, we go blue and yellow or something like that, because I don't know why I didn't think of that earlier, but here we go. Okay, there's only one option for yellow here. I swear, though, the green plus light gray was just... You gotta be kidding me. Okay, what about that, maybe? Oh, my God. <laughs> First try, as soon as we're like, oh, blue and you... Oh, my God. Alrighty, then. Yep, that'll that'll work, I suppose. Oh, we did it. I feel so silly right now. Anyway, alright, on to the next level. Let's see. Oh, Guardian in the Sky. Are we gonna fight the Ender Dragon here? Uh, yup, it looks like it. So, the Nova shudders and begins rippling with great intensity. Who does it now? Do I, I don't get any bows, your arrows yet, though. Can I? Oh! Uh, yeah, that worked. So, alright, Guardian of the Sky. Do I have some arrows? I don't. I wish I had some arrows, because that would probably make my life a little bit easier. Oh, hello, you're kind of kind of chilling there in the center. Whoa. Okay, so what do I do? Um, do you want to, do I want to come over here and and do this? Or can I just like to start punching you? Hi there. I'm just gonna punch him. The guardian readies itself to summon fire. All right. Oh, there we go. Okay, we got some stuff. How about some arrows? Because I think that would be great. It would be, it'd be fantastic if there we go. Thank you, arrows. Woohoo! Finally. <laughs> Long enough. Okay. Oh god. Careful of the fire. So I guess let's run around in circles to get all the stuff that we need. Oh, so we, um, hmm. Uh, the restoring death lists is healing the guard. Oh, wait, 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 no. Restoring 
Deathless. What is a restoring Deathless? Whoa, 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 whoa. No, you guys don't, don't heal the Guardian. Don't do that. That's a terrible idea. You don't want to do that. That's silly. Let's just keep shooting at him. I guess I need to run around, basically, and continue to get arrows while also avoiding the dudes who are healing him and stuff. Resistance potion. Okay, the Guardian readies its explosive attack. Whoa there! Alright, so this one always spawns arrows, so we just need to keep shooting him. Then we should be able to take him out. He doesn't keep juking us. Alright, careful, careful. Yup, yup, keep collecting arrows. There we go. There we go. We got nothing on us. Not this time. Guardian readies itself to summon fire. Alright, stand clear. Oh god, ow, 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 ow. I don't have any armor, not fair. Be nice. I'm only trying to kill you, even though this is your whole neat stuff. That's the thing about Minecraft, is you're really just kind of exterminating the native inhabitants of the world and stuff. Because, I don't know, he's probably not even an evil guardian. Probably just sort of a sign to protect whatever's inside the crystal tower here, and we're just like, oh, I'm gonna come along and take it. And for that, I feel a little bit sort of bad about myself. Okay, the dudes are healing the guardian, but I think I can damage him quicker than they can heal, but maybe I should just... Alright, Deathless. Oh boy, that's a lot of... Oh god, they're really healing him quickly. Hey, can you guys die? Please die. Please die. Please stop healing him as much. Stop. Stop with the healing. Okay. It's alright. They didn't do too much in the way of healing. I think... Oh god, there's more. There's more. Hit him over there. Oh, ow, this is gonna hurt. Okay, take him out, take him out, take him out. Is he healing anymore? He's not. Okay, more arrows. So far, so good. I'm healing. I'm watching the health bar really closely, making sure that nothing is healing him. Okay. Doing good. Doing good. Guardian readies himself to summon fire. No, you don't. No, you don't. If I just stand on this, I should just keep on collecting arrows, I think. It seems to be working out pretty well. Don't you think? Alright, man, I feel kind of badly doing this, though, really. You're kind of a majestic beast. And, um... I'm sure that everything in this realm respects you greatly, and, uh, I am about to end that reign of... Okay, they're putting out... Oh, I got him! I got him! Sweet! Cool. I'm sorry. I feel kind of badly, but, you know, I had to take whatever to sort of treasure stuff is hidden inside the tower, if any. I don't know. Jump! Jump over here, maybe. Oh, jump down. Jump! Jump! It's like a peer pressure. The, cr the crowd is chanting for me to jump. Jump! 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 All right, I'll jump! Whee! Oh, God, no, wait. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill... Oh, what? Okay. Well done! Uh, with skill and wit, you have conquered the Crystal Tower. Although we will all become Stardust again someday, in this moment, you have mastered a formidable journey. Do not forget this. Is that it? I just, like, fall forever? Take care. <laughs> Bye! Okay, farewell, Crystal Tower. Um, Persepolis, I think that's the, the map creator. All right, well, uh, that was the Crystal Tower. Finished up. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, a rating would be super very much appreciated. And, um, yeah, man, if you're interested in the map, link in the description and all that good stuff. But, uh, yeah, I guess that's it for now. So, thanks very much, and, um, I'll see you next time.